Uh, anything else you guys want to see? Can you do your foot sweep from a collar tie? Is it different yeah. than the other? I'd like yeah, to see that. Basically, all I'm going to do is I'm going to push his weight up past his heel, pull his head in. Mm -hmm. And when I pull his head, like I said, not really dramatically go like this. You know, just really nonchalantly pull his head in, get a bite, see how I'm turning his head with my chest muscle. And that's going to create a handle for me to turn his upper body. So right here, push him in. This is going to turn him, pick his foot up. It's 90% time. It's 10% actual move. If I hit it when it's not the right time, it's going to be like hitting like a park move. So, I mean, if you don't have the right timing on this, you can hit it from anywhere. You can hit it from two on one, underhook, double unders, double overs. Any tie you can think of, any, any, any way you can think of, you can hit it. Wrist tie. But the one thing you got to learn is the timing. So, basically, what I want to do is pick it up. Where his weight's not on it, and I want to pull his weight to where it used to be. It's hard move to drill. Mm -hmm. There's drills that guys do. You know, one drill that I used to do was when I was real young, I'd have a partner and we'd go in and go like 40% live, just like let each other kind of work. And, and no hands. You could only use hands for tie ups. You know, everything else was trips, you know. And uh, we'd come kind of spar back and forth only with leg trips. And over time, we do that like 20 minutes a day after practice, two or three times a week when I was like eighth grade through like sophomore year in high school. And over time, I just picked up the, the time. Because when you, like I said, when you guys hit it in a match, and if you guys hit foot sweeps, you'll, you'll agree with me. It's, you're like, oh my God, that just happened? You know, mm -hmm. the timing's there, you do that little action, and, and he's on the mat, and it feels easier than it should. It's not like the high crotch where you're where you're in there you know battling cracking down coming back underneath his hips it's a real subtle move the one thing i could say you know when you teach this to your kids is think of a foot sweep as a leg attack you know if i wanted to shoot a single leg on him it would be do me no good to just punch him in the thigh you know what i mean i gotta think of my foot as like a spoon or a hand i want to scoop his foot up and grab it the worst thing i can do is just kick it that creates shock. You know, I might not get it right away. I might have to be in here for a second and then pull it to where I can get his foot up. You know, it's it's. Uh, I like to think of my foot. I think I think of it as a leg attack. I really do. You know, whether we're coming to the outside and snapping, you know, lifting it and going this way, or or uh, you know, coming here and snapping. All, all 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 the ways I'm using my foot as like a hand. Picking his leg up and pulling his weight where his leg used to be. What, what is your foot placement like? I find when I try to do it, sometimes I get like shin to shin to kills, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> what am I doing wrong there? Right? I think you just spend time drilling it. Yeah. You know, um, in different scenarios. Mm -hmm. And I think you'll pick up the right placement. Do you use your shoelaces though? I use my shoelaces. It depends on the trip we're doing. Right. If you're just doing. I'm doing a traditional foot sweep. Right. It's like. It's like uh, there's like two different kinds that I compare them to. Like, you ever, you know, you see a kid who walk with like little kids and they'll come and catch the back heel and push the kid to fall. Mm -hmm. And you'll see other kids, they might like get underneath, one guy will get underneath his legs and another kid will push him. They're, it's the same way in the foot sweep. One, I'm going to block his body, like from a control plan, like an underhook or, or like a double under. I'm going to block him and pull him. Mm -hmm. The other one, he's going to do all the work. So, like, it's similar as if he, if he were bouncing, and I'm gonna catch him this way. You know what I mean? So it's 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 uh it all depends on how you're gonna hit it. One's almost like a block, and mm -hmm. one you're taking his feet off underneath. Okay. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Any any other questions in there?